Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new series of tutorials for you. In this series of tutorials, I am telling you about curve fitting. Well, this is my third video in the series. In my first video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. In my second video, I told you how to fit a curve by method of group averages. In that video, I told you how to fit a straight line in the form y is equal to ax plus b. And today in this third video, I will tell you how to fit a curve in the form of y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Our question is fit a curve of the form y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c for the following data by the method of group averages. So this is our given data set where some values of x are given 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and corresponding y values are also given. So for x equals to 0, the value of y is 6. So what is our objective? Our objective in curve fitting that we have to find out the numeric expression of this type which will fit not only these given values but also that equation or expression can be used to predict any unknown values also. For example, from this given table, if you are asked what is the value of y for x equals to 3. So we have given the values of 2 and 4 for x. We have to find out the value of y for given values of x which is x equals to 3. So let's start the calculation. So let y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c is our equation number 1 which is given in the question. So first we have to convert it into the standard form that is y is equals to ax plus b form. One note for you, y is equals to ax plus b is also represented as y equals to a plus bx. This type of representation is followed by the Casio calculators. You will learn about this representation when I will tell you how to do curve fitting directly on Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator. So for now, to bring this expression into the standard form, we have to take any data set from this given data. So we will take let's say 2 and 9. So for x equals to 2, the corresponding value is 9. As you may know, on any two dimensional graph or a plot, any point is represented by two numbers, where the first number here 2 represents the x coordinate value and the second number 9 represents the y coordinate value. For example, if you plot a graph like this and if you draw a point like this, so the point 2 represents the distance from the y axis that is x coordinate value, this and 9 represents the distance from the x axis or y coordinate value. So, 2 comma 9 represents a point on the curve and our curve let's say like this and our point lies on the curve. So by putting y equals to 9 in this expression and x equals to 2 we will get 9 is equals to a into x square that is 2 square plus bx that is b into 2 plus c. I have simplified it for you. So 9 is equals to a into 2 to the power 2 is 4 that is 4 into a 4a plus b into 2 that is 2b plus c. Now if you subtract the equation number 2 from equation number 1 that is this you will get so you will get y minus 9 written here is equals to you have to do the subtraction for each element. So a x square minus a into 2 to the power 2. So that is written here a x square minus a into 2 to the power 2 plus b x minus b into 2 that is b x into b 2 and plus c minus c that is written here plus c minus c. So by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, we will get 
this form and now let's simplify it y minus 9 is equals to and you can see a is common in both part so if you take a common out you will get x square minus 2 square plus similarly here b is common so if you take b out you will get x minus 2 so b into x minus 2 plus c minus c is equals to 0 let's come to next step y minus 9 is equals to and here the form is x square minus 2 square so that is you can write a square minus b square form so a square minus b square if you factor it you will get a plus 2 into a minus 2 that is x plus 2 into x minus 2 so a into x plus 2 into x minus 2 plus b common x minus 2 and this 0 is cancelled so, so it's b into x minus 2 and now if we divide both side by x minus 2 you will get y minus 9 by x minus 2 is equals to this divided by x minus 2 so x minus 2 is cancelled and b into x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 so that is also cancelled so you will get y minus 9 divided by x minus 2 is equals to a into x plus 2 plus b which is in the form y is equals to ax plus b that is our standard form and this is our equation number 3 where y which is the left hand side is equals to y equals to y minus 9 divided by x minus 2 and x is equals to x plus 2 now we can apply the method of group averages and as the name suggests we will group the data in two tables and then find the averages of them from that the name is group averages method so for grouping we will divide the table in two parts or two groups one is group a in group a we will write the first half of the table so here we have six elements three here and three here so we write the first three elements of x and corresponding y values in group a and remaining x values and corresponding y values in group b so by doing so we will get two groups group a with first three x values and first three corresponding y values and group b with last three x values and corresponding last three y values and now from our standard form of x we have got y is equals to y minus 9 by x by 2 and x is equals to x plus 2 so we will work on this form not on simple x and simple y values as we did in our previous example in previous example we just divided the table in two parts and start the calculation but in today's math since our x is now replaced by x plus 2 and y is now replaced by y minus 9 by x by 2 so we will work on this set of data so let's find out the modified x value that is capital x which is equals to small x plus 2 so small x is 0 plus 2 that is 2 and corresponding y value is equals to small y minus 9 divided by small x minus 2 so small y is 6 minus 9 that is minus 3 divided by small x minus 2 so small x is 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 so minus 3 by minus 2 minus is cancelled that is 3 by 2 or 115 next for small x equals to 2 and small y equals to 9 our value will be y minus 9 that is 9 minus 9 is 0 divided by 2 minus 2 that is also 0 so 0 by 0 is 0 or cancelled so we have written a simple dash here and for this value y small y is 12 and small x is 4 so y minus 9 that is 12 minus 9 divided by small x minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 
so that is equals to 3 by 4 minus 2 is 2 so 3 by 2 is 1.5 similarly for group B let's find out the capital X value and capital Y value so which is given by same process small x is 6 and small y is 14 so y will be 14 minus 9 divided by 6 minus 2 so that's equals to 5 by 4 that is 1.25 written here so we have grouped the data in two part and now we'll find out averages of the two groups so average of group a is given by x1 bar the bar represents the mean or average value so x1 bar is equals to sum of the all x values is equals to 12 divided by number of elements so number of elements are 3 so 12 by 3 is equals to 4 and y1 bar is sum of all y values that is 3 divided by number of elements that is 3 so 3 by 3 is equals to 1 similarly for group b the values are y2 bar and x2 bar so sum of the all x values in group b is 30 divided by number of elements 3 so 30 by 3 is 10 similarly for group b sum of all y values is equals to 3.965 divided by number of elements 3 so 3.965 by 3 is equals to 1.321 so now we have calculated the average of two groups and let's put them into the standard form that is equation number 3 equation number 3 is capital Y is equals to AX plus B so by putting all the averages value we, we have 4A plus B is equals to 1 4 from this value and 1 from this value. Similarly, for group B, 10A plus B is equals to 1.321. So, 10A plus B is equals to 1.321. This is our equation number 4 and this is our equation number 5. So, by solving equation number 4 and 5, we get A is equals to 0 0.0535 and B is equals to 0 0.768. So, by substituting the values of A and B, in equation number 2 that is in this equation we will get c is equals to 7.214 so we have got the values of a b and c so let's frame our required curve fit so the required base fit for the data is equals to which is given in the question y is equals to a x square plus bx plus c so we, so we know the values of a b and c so let's frame it a into x square plus b into x plus c this is our required best fit of the data so that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos in the series. So don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.